Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's great to be here. More than once, I've been very fortunate to get to do the children lesson when the baby was being baptized. And I was just thinking as I sat back there during the baptism, in three or four years, God willing, I'll be doing the children lesson, and he will be up here also. That'd be fantastic. And to think of that, how we go from that little child and start growing in faith already. And it's a wonderful thing. And I'm always delighted that my mom and dad did that in the bathroom. I've been growing in faith all my life. And that these pastors here give me the opportunity to do children lessons. Because the one thing I like is talking about Jesus. The one thing I liked all my life is doing that. But let's go what I talked about this morning. And said we didn't have a baptism, so I didn't do a little. <laughs> and let me just talk about that. Last week was what? Easter. But Easter is over now. Now what? Well, I thought about what am I going to talk about. The other day, pastor said to me, because normally I do the children lesson on the last Sunday of the month. This is not the last Sunday. That's next week. But that's confirmation. So he said to me, he says, Elliot, uh, I got you down for the children lesson. I said, well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> but anyhow, I thought about, well, Easter last Sunday. So I, could, I thought about different things I could talk about. One of the things that pastor is going to talk about in the sermon is about Thomas, doubting Thomas. Unless he seen for himself Jesus, he did not believe that he is no longer dead, that he has arrived and he's alive again. And other things. I thought about that up there on the, on the, on the, up there on the, by the cross about the butterfly. How to being a, a, a they eventually came from what? From a caterpillar came a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> And I says, no, what I want to talk about is you and me and moms and dads and everyone out there. Easter is over, now what? Easter is over, now what? No more Easter candy, now what? No more rabbits, no more egg hunts, over, now what? Well, you know what? The disciples, about 40 days after Jesus rose, Jesus ascended to heaven and told those disciples to go up into this room. <laughs> okay, they're having fun. That's good. And Jesus was talking. And told, he told them to go up in the room and wait. They went up into this room after Jesus went back to heaven, and they waited. Because they didn't know themselves, now what? Jesus is not there anymore. They're not going to see Jesus doing miracles. They're not seeing Jesus healing people. Now what? Because they are left alone. Jesus went back to heaven. Now what? And he says, Wait. Eventually what happened, kids, you got that right. Eventually what happened, little flames are like on all the disciples' head up in that room. And the Holy Spirit came in then. When that happens and they were there, all of a sudden they knew what to do. And they went right outside the door and started talking about Jesus, telling the people out there about them. You know something? The disciples are also gone. Since then, whose job is it? Now what? It's moms and dads, mine, yours, to talk about Jesus, to tell people that Jesus died for them, that Jesus rose from the dead, that Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us. And one day, when all of us have to die, that we will be in heaven with Jesus. So our job is to do what? Go to other people and talk to them about Jesus, talk about his love, talk about him dying on the cross, talking about him going home to heaven to prepare a place for us. Now what? We got a big job ahead of us. Look around, and your kids don't know, but parents know. Look around and see what's happening. Day in and day out, watch the news and you know. Do we have a big job? We have a, mar a tremendous mountainside job to go and tell people about Jesus Christ, to get as many people as we can, our friends, our neighbors, those people, kids we play with, the people we work with to tell them about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So they too one day would be what? In heaven with us. Because I know you guys are going there. I know I'm going there. Not because of me, because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ turns us into a beautiful butterfly and will take us home. Now what? It's time to go tell others. Invite people. You know, I, I was thinking, I didn't do this early, but I was thinking afterward, well, how can any of us, it's hard to just walk up, do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? That's hard. But what do you say to them? Something like, what church do you go to? And they say, I don't go to the church. 
Say, would you like to come along with me sometime? That's an easy way to approach. Instead of saying, come on and learn about, you know, just, would you like to come to church with us? Would you like to come to Sunday school with us? Ways to just say that. What Sunday school you go to? And they say, I don't go to Sunday school. Say, would you like to come with me? That's our job, to invite people to come with us so the pastors and other people can go to Bible classes, church services, tell other people about Jesus Christ and his love. That's our job. That is what, now what? After Easter, our job. Can we fold our hands and pray? Bow our heads and pray? Dear God, you have given us an awful big job. And sometimes it's hard, it's awful hard to get started and do that job. We always say tomorrow instead of today. So Jesus, may the Holy Spirit enter into our life and give us the encouragement and desire to invite people to come with us to find out more about Jesus. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior name, we all say amen. Kids, you know what? Pastors never give you anything. But I'm not a pastor, so over there are some candy. You guys are welcome to take one. Take one of you, two different kinds, just take one, okay? I heard Thank that, you. Elliot. <laughs> you always